Hong Kong government officials and student protest leaders met face to face on Tuesday to try to resolve their standoff. They've been at odds over the election process of the territory's next chief executive, but they failed to find common ground, and the student leaders suggest their protest will continue. NHK World Shun Shibe has more. The students have been staging sit ins on major roads for more than three weeks. They are upset about Beijing's decision on how the next chief executive will be chosen. They say the election process in 2017 would effectively block pro-democracy candidates from running. They are demanding that the decision be retracted. The student protesters and Hong Kong leaders met directly for the first time to try to end the stalemate. If the Hong Kong government wants to convey fairness, freedom, democracy and human rights to the people, it should issue a concrete plan. Hong Kong is a special administrative region. It is not independent. We cannot decide on the political system by ourselves. We want to know if there is a road map on political reforms. The fact that five million voters will be able to cast their votes to choose the chief executive is a major step in the democratic process. Students took part in the rally after the meeting. Some said the government didn't try to listen. Others said they are disappointed. Some of the students called for more protests. The two sides tried to find a breakthrough, but neither side is budging. It appears the protests will drag on even longer. Shin Shibe, NHK World, Hong Kong.